And we're back. I was thinking, like... For... Like, the purpose of these videos... Since nothing really is going on in the background... It's just background noise. So these would be, like, good background noise videos, you know? Like... Maybe you got work. And you want to leave some background noise on for your dog. Just put this shit on. Wouldn't that be neat? I'm making videos with background noise. Videos for the purposes of background noises to entertain fucking dogs. So, uh, hold on. I'm a little spooked. What the coins do, and what's actually different in Madhouse, compared to other difficulties, is that you can use those like coins, those antique coins that you saw me picking up, to actually purchase upgrades and stuff, which are these things inside these little bird, these little cute bird cages. Hold on, is that? Oh no no no! I was like, wait, is that? Are you spending coins to buy a coin? But nah, that's that's a super special coin. So yeah, you can buy stuff like. These special coins, I think, are like attack and defense stuff. And then, oh, right here, you can buy the key. Straight up buy the key. You have, to, you have to use coins to buy the key to get the shotgun. Which we need. Oh, my God. But here we go, looking for stuff. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? Who's your daddy? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's a he's dead now. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what? Off? <laughs> he, 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 he's dead now. I'm sorry, I killed him. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. Hey man, you you got a a sad lonely dog that needs to be entertained. Put my video on in the background. Let them watch me play Resident Evil. <laughs> And then, like, I somehow teach your dog some commands or some shit. You get home, and your dog's like a Nazi. I've secretly been uploading dog propaganda, Nazi dog propaganda on my YouTube channel. Nazi dog, Resident Evil Nazi dog propaganda. Now, one thing that's also uh, common in the Resident Evil series is the fucking back and forth with the inventory management and all this shit. I forgot I'm really bad at managing inventory. So, like, there's going to be a lot of back and forth going on. This boy here does not know what items to pick and what to use and what to take. Uh, anybody who listened carefully real quickly right there, that save room theme. Save room themes have also... I just keep talking about Resident Evil. <clears throat> They've been in the games before, like... When you enter a save room, it's supposed to be like a safe haven, you know? You know you're safe. And they're usually like pretty somber and mellow, like, music. Which is pretty dope. And what we're doing right now is we're gonna use our monies to buy our hard earned money to buy the scorpion. Oh shit, what? Where did you go? Oh my god, I didn't know he was gonna come out from the door! That's not in Madhouse. I mean, that's new to Madhouse. He has a paint roller now. Oh no. He has a. What the hell, Grandma? Okay, cool, just... <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, uh, that's different. 
I forgot in Madhouse, it's not scripted anymore. If you buy the key, he fucking... He assaults your ass. I just got assaulted by Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer. Jack Baker. Man, you don't want to get assaulted by Jack Bauer. It, we're good, though. We're good. We're good. I know the strategy. He's gonna find us. And when he does... You heard him. So this is some nemesis type shit here. Where you don't know where he is. But he's following you around. Similar game would be a... Oh, that's not good. Why would you do that? Why would you make such a loud noise and alert him of my presence? Alien Isolation. The alien follows you around. It's just a neat game mechanic, you know, getting followed around by an unstoppable force that's just, it's like a looming threat. But usually, like, these things are sort of fixed, in a way. Like, in the Alien Isolation game... Guys, I'm kind of scared. I'm really scared, actually. Is he upstairs? In Alien Iso, the alien sort of like tethered, I, I would say is the right word. So you're never totally... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, no! The goo monsters! Here comes the... Here come Resident Evil, guys! Here come the spooks! Shit. Man. Alright, I need to I need to take some time to Whew. Also I am I need to make sure that these episodes aren't fucking <laughs> movies. No more 50 minute episodes, I realize it, they need to be more concise and I actually not, need to not fuck around and get shit done so that these episodes can be shorter. So from here on out guys, nah don't take my word for it, I'm probably gonna fuck up. Just making sure, just making sure that this dough ain't a buck. Let's take some drug. No, don't combine. Hell yeah. Let's do some drug, man. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow, I really should have equipped the x-ray glasses because... I can see everything now. Now what we're doing is, we're trying to get the fudge out of here. Wait a minute, I didn't open that. This isn't open. I just realized, we're at a dead end here, folks. I don't need to do that puzzle. But I want to show it off, because it's sort of a another stable, the Resident Evil. Oh my god. Kill me. So we got more money. We got more. Uh, we got more stuff. Let's see what's in here. Nice. That thanks. Thank you for that.
What is this? Hey, wasn't there a... A goat monster in here? I also don't have the shotgun. We might have a problem here. We may have a problem here, folks. Wasn't gonna... Nope. And I ran out of drugs. Oh, no. Shit, I thought I was going to be able to provide, like, super dank commentary, but I'm legit experiencing this for the first time all over again. It's just too much. Too much for me to handle. I can't get a handle on it. Oh, fuck! We got a pro- we got a problem here. It doesn't happen again. And it wasn't even him that kicked my ass. I got assaulted. I got freaking assaulted, dude. There's nothing I can do about that. I see you too. What up, Grandma? God, man, this game too, too stress. Open the door, you cock. Now close it. Close it behind you. Open the door and close it behind you. Open the door and close it behind you. Oh yeah, guys, more Resident Evil shit. <clears throat> when you find the notes and stuff. And then you gotta read notes. Isn't reading awesome? Is he he's still chasing me? The game doesn't pause when you read. You can't hide from me, boy. Yeah, sure, whatever, dude. Hey, how you feeling? I'm writing in about your X-rays. You can see hallucinations. Oh, uh, you got a fungal parasite. Please come to the hospital. All right. So who was that for, Mrs. Baker? So. There, there's some uh, exposition for you right there. Does he hear this? Mrs. Baker has a fungal infection. That's why she's acting like a crazy bitch. Oh, what do we do with this? Why would you look at that? Why would you pick that up and look at that? And that note right there, what you just saw was what our objective is. We gotta get dog head reliefs. I keep pressing that. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to do this fast because I bungled it. I screwed up a lot. Yeah, cool. Cool dude. You can hear how fast he runs. Heal dude. Now open the door. You can only use the key. Oh no, you can use the key twice. You can use the key twice. That's nice. The scorpion door. Ha, I get it. Oh shit, wait. I forgot. The most important part. Oh, wait a minute. There we go, guys. Resident Evil puzzle solving mechanics. Where is this asshole? Now what sucks is... 
I don't know. What sucks is that we're fucked. We're boned. Hey, look, the same headline. Over 20 missing in two years. Yep. Alyssa Ashcroft. Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure that's also a reference to a Resident Evil character. Man, this game is just loaded with fucking references and nostalgia bits. But really, all I'm doing is just playing through the game again. Like I said... My favorite game. Open the. You know what though? I think that is a good like to have to make videos for people to fall asleep to. That's a good way to. Oh my god! Wait, they they break through the doors? I didn't know that. I thought I was safe. Oh, I'm not safe. Yeah, he'll have fun in there by himself. He's fine. He looks like he looks like he's got a grasp on things. Shit. We got a problem here. Uh, I mentioned that I didn't manage my inventory properly. And here we are, with an improperly managed inventory. This is not good. Not good at all. I looked in that before and I looked at it again. Get him, Ethan. Uh, uh. All right. I know what must be done. Them reflexes. That's what we call bada, bada bing. Nah, that, that's what we call, you fail the first time. Fool me once, shame on me, you're not gonna fool me twice. Fuck. Alright, there's a box here. Also, one more other... <laughs> Man, like I said, this game is just an endless roller coaster of Resident Evil shit. What you can do is put items in a box, and the way the inventory system works is the boxes are transferable what you have in the box so like you know you put wait a minute no no no, no yeah, yeah, yeah you put you put an item in the box and then all the other boxes you find will have the same items and apparently I still can use this key Now what we're gonna do is, I forgot, they actually throw a lot of items your way in Madhouse because they want to make sure the game is fair. But the problem is I have shitty inventory management. And also not making good progress in this game. There's gonna be a lot of shit that I have to cut out, but we're going. You know what, I'm gonna soldier on and we're doing this. This is Cheetah Burrito here to say that Poor Travis. Alright, cool. Now we know our objective. Our fellow dead boy over here told us what we have to do. Did I pick up... 
No, I didn't. Fuck. We're gonna do this, guys. Believe me, oh. That scared the shit out of me. Nice. You see, you just gotta concentrate and you get shit done. You get shit done. I like how the gun's dirty too. There's blood splatter all over my gun. So that's, those are the monsters. Those are the cannon fodder monsters you'll see in this game. Resident Evil, it was zombies. This game, it's nasty goop shit, but it's still the same. It functions the same as a zombie. They just chase you around and they make nasty noises. I saw a video actually of the making of the audio for the the slap slappy noises they make when they walk around and what they did is Evelyn this bitch looks crazy uh, they like I killed them too fast I think you weren't able to hear it but the molded when they walk around they, the pitter patter they make is like it sounds like the best way I can describe it Sounds like you're slapping. It sounds like you're slapping meat. Like you're legitimately slapping meat, not beating meat. There's a difference. Slapping it, you know, like like a like a hard like. I'm gonna slap my thigh real quick and see if I can replicate the noise. Something like that, but imagine it like wet. So like what they were doing in the recording studio was that they were slapping some wet meaty shit on the ground into the microphone and make the walking sounds. Or the molded, and I just think that's so cool that you can replicate that noise. I can replicate that noise. I do it every night, every night and day. So hey, Capcom, if you want to hire me for sound design <laughs> on the next Resident Evil game, if you, if you need to make some slappy meat noises, I'm your guy. Oh, I don't need this, but I'll take it anyway just to show off. Oh wait, this might screw me over. I don't care. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, guys. Just making sure I'm not missing shit. Because in this game, like I said, Matt Hus uh. does that. Throws a lot of items your way. And you can easily miss shit. And also, one thing that I literally just missed was uh god damn it i don't mean a fucking when you pick up an item you don't want and it takes up space and you can't just discard shit hey more uh exposition there's a storm luke is probably in help he'll go check it out tomorrow who writes in books who still writes in journals i do i have a journal i keep at home dream journal last time i had a dream I was floating around. In a giant uh, field of flowers. I don't know where I'm going with this. Move that piece of shit hippie. Who'd they catch? Who was the hippie? And why you, what what makes a person a hippie? Damn it, I need the money. But I can't get it. Now what must we do? Oh yeah, the release, the dog heads. That's what we gotta do. I also have to show off that puzzle piece what it does. I'm gonna try to make it to the the mm hmm. -hmm. You know? Because like I said, we're going to soldier on. Like, I'm not going to let those deaths defeat me. If anything, they were learning experiences. And also, those weren't legit. I was just showing off uh, how the game works. Clearly. Obviously. You'll never see me make that mistake. 
proceeds to get smacked by Nemesis. But I will, I'm gonna keep saving frequently because <laughs> it's so tedious when you miss some shit and you have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But also, it's so tedious when you mismanage your items. I don't think I. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna bring a knife with me. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're pretty much in the thick of it right now. This is Resident Evil 7. This is what you get. This is Capcom's masterpiece. I wouldn't say masterpiece. Arkley Mountains, uh, reference to the location and setting of the first Resident Evil game. Raccoon City took place on the outskirts, which were Arkley Mountains, and that's where the lab was. That's where the lab was that started it all. Man, those were the days. Now here's a unique little puzzle. Uh, I mean, puzzles aren't like new to the series, but this form of a puzzle is. And what you gotta do is you gotta line the shadow up just right. Jaunt. Jaunt. Just right. And then you get a pretty picture. And then you solve the puzzle. Like, I love, it's something about the slow, yeah, exactly. That's, I think that's a fourth wall break because a lot of the puzzles in this game are so, in the series, there's the infamous water puzzle. Oh man, you know what? I really want to show off the fucking classic games now, but there's no way for me to do that. I mean, I can emulate them, but I don't like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Like, uh, I was gonna say the puzzle mechanics in Resident Evil, what they do is, like, they're not, they're, they sort of, they're not pace breaking, but they're, like, little moments of, like, like, you get to chill, you know, like, it's like the save rooms, you have a moment to yourself to figure out what you have to do, and then when you solve it, you know, you're like, yeah, and they never amount to any crazy shit, like, you don't have to fucking crack the... I don't know. You're not like opening safes or anything. That's like, that's actually what you're doing. They're as simple as opening safes. You're not like decoding fucking cryptic messages or something. It's not nothing crazy like that. But what some people will say is that <laughs> in some of the games the puzzles are pretty pretty out there on what you're supposed to do. I forgot how you make super juice. I don't remember how you make super juice, and that's a problem. And we need a crow, we need a key, the crow key. Mmm. The money. Fuck, the money, the money, the money. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, 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 shit, 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 shit. Damn it. I'm a fucking... I'm a mess. This is why I forget that I don't... I play these games at a slow pace and don't record myself when playing these games because I'm so bad at getting all the collectibles and shit in a timely manner. This is gonna be a goddamn two hour video. And you know what? I'm gonna upload that shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. They could also be like a form of torture, I guess. You can put people to sleep with my videos or torture them with them. Torture them with them. Just put this shit on and be like, here, watch, listen. And they're like, Sh oh my god, shut the fuck up. And I'm like, yeah, man. I do need to shut the fuck up. Alright, now we got some coins. Now that we got some coins. Maybe it's daddy's hobby. 
Imagine Jack running around with a fucking football helmet on his head. That would be deadly. Why didn't he do that? Instead, he has a fucking custom ass paint roller with spikes on it and shit. That's pretty badass. Not gonna lie. NGL, NGL. We're losing frames here, guys. I don't know what's happening. That dog uh, relief statue is fucking turning up the gram fix. And we're good. We're good. Alright guys, we are turning up the heat. Let me take a break real quick. I'll be back.